What is up everybody? It's CJ Place here and I'm back with a, another Rosewood Park renovation video. So we're back in Rosewood Park and the house that we're going to be furnishing today is called the Sasha. It is a two bedroom, two bathroom home. And I furnished this house for a couple of content creators and like, I guess, influencers. So the Sims that live here, they come from like generational wealth and I feel like they moved out on their own just to kind of prove a point to their parents that they could live on their own and they're, you know, perfectly capable of surviving and stuff like that. So they took this empty townhouse and they're basically converting it to be a little bit more modern and more like, you know, I guess influencer like, if that makes sense. So this house is kind of like, it has like a lot of modern touches to it and I just really love the way this one turned out. So I went with this like grayish green color for the wallpaper and I thought it looked so cool up against the flooring. Right now this is just the entryway so I have a bookshelf. I tried to like find an end table to put here by the door but all of the end tables and dressers were just a little bit too big and I didn't want to use move objects because I wanted to make sure that a sim could maneuver this space because you know in the sims 3 sims need like space to move around. In the sims 4 sometimes they can still get around certain areas but in in three you have to kind of be a little bit more careful so I didn't get a chance to put anything here I did however put a sectional I used the one from the late night pack and I put like a couple of chairs down here just so the sims could have a couple places to sit I also ended up using the same one in the next room and it took me a while to kind of figure out a color scheme I think I ended up making that couch a little bit more muted but moving on over here though this is the living room so I used the tv from the late night pack and then I also used the same sectional I was so upset y'all because I like this little glass wall like thing that I had going on but for whatever reason <laughs> the windows themselves are a little bit too tall so you'll see a little bit later on in the video that I had to replace these with the ones from into the future because the problems arose when I went upstairs to furnish one of the bedrooms the windows are so tall that they actually clip through the floor which was really annoying I hated that so much um and there there's a couple of windows that kind of fit the same vibe in the sims 3 but none that was like the right height because I didn't want any space left over so luckily there is a window from the into the future pack that kind of is similar in a way so I ended up replacing these windows with those but honestly if I was just like playing this in my own household I probably would have still kept it and just ignored the the windows clipping through the floor but I know if this was for a YouTube video and somebody's playing in this I kind of want this to be like as functional as possible so you know we don't have any CC windows for this one but I also ended up putting a bamboo plant and I also put up a little stereo in here as well. And you'll see that I kind of like separated the living room from the rest of the house just to kind of make the floor plan a little bit more open but still give it some privacy. So next up we're in the kitchen and I did like a little like angled... Uh, I don't know what to call this with the tile. It was kind of cool though. I had never really done anything like that, but I wanted the kitchen to be a little bit bigger than just in the corner. I mean, it's still a corner kitchen. I don't know why, but I just love doing corner kitchens in The Sims now. I, I, I don't know where it came from, y'all. <laughs> Maybe I'm just like in a little phase right now. So I ended up using the Ambitions countertops in here. And I also used, I think the stove from the base game. And I ended up using one of the fridges from the base game as well. I think they just look probably the best with the ambitions countertops you know and then I also use some of the island versions of those countertops to kind of make like a little like island space for the sims to sit down I was going to use these base game cabinets at the top but they didn't look that good so I ended up using the ones from pets instead and I just recolored them again the ambitions counters tops they don't really come with any matching cabinets I don't know why that happens in the sims but it happens even in the sims 4 where you'll get like counters but no cabinets I don't know why that is but Either way, I ended up making like a little like island over here too with some um, island countertops and a couple of bar stools from the Ambitions pack just to kind of have like a little like mini kitchen area. I thought it looked kind of cool. And then behind it, I ended up putting a dining table from the Showtime pack and I paired it up with some seasons chairs, I believe. So since this area was like a little bit bigger, I decided to put a computer desk down here because since these sims are like, you know, content creators, influencers, I feel like they would need, you know, computers. They were going to need just extra space for like friends and stuff like that. So I gave them like the small table from Showtime. I was trying to figure out what modern one to use, but I thought this one looked the best so I ended up using this one in here as well and I just put some chairs and then for the computer desk I use the desk from the I think it's the oh my goth set I want to say and I ended up pairing it up with the matching computer from that set and then I used the chair I forgot what set the chair comes from but it's sims 3 store content and then I also put some nice plants in the corner and some pictures up on the wall and I ended up using one of the paintings from roaring heights I believe um, just to kind of have like something on the wall but I really like the way that this room looks it's 
just so calming. It's a little bit muted, but like, again, it's supposed to be like modern or like, you know, like I feel like when you see like a lot of influencer houses, you know, they're, they tend to be like more like black and white and neutral color scheme. So I kind of wanted to kind of play into that today. And I just really like the end result. I did end up putting a rug underneath the table just to kind of like have something there. But that's pretty much it for this little outdoor section. I kind of just wanted to have like a little workspace, a kitchen, a living room, just everything kind of close together. I really wish those windows would not have clipped through the floor because that would look really good there. And then I also use like that spotlight lamp. Um, I thought it was kind of cool. I feel like in real life, it would be really hot to sit under. I feel like it would be like super, super, super bright. So maybe in real life, I wouldn't want to have that, but it looks really good in this little space though. And then now I'm moving on to the downstairs bathroom. So for this one, I colored the tile to be a little bit gray. I put some of that brick to kind of make an accent wall. And then I ended up using the shower from the seasons pack. And then I used one of those nice toilets from the base game. I ended up using the late night sink in here as well, which I don't ever use that sink. I feel like it's kind of hard for me to use because I'm so used to sinks in the Sims having like a bottom, but this one kind of like, you know, is built into the wall. So I I was like maybe that could be a little bit modern you know so I kind of liked it and then it took me a while to recolor the shower in here because I was trying to like get the tub right but that's pretty much everything for downstairs and then moving on upstairs I'm just recoloring all the floors to kind of match downstairs I recolored the wallpapers and I'm moving on to the bedrooms this is right now when I realized that I couldn't use those windows and it kind of hurt because I really wanted to use them y'all like Ugh. <laughs> But what can you do? So yeah, like I said, I use the ones from the Into the Future, which are still kind of nice though. But you know, it's not the other ones, but whatever. <laughs> but moving on, the first bedroom that we're going to be furnishing, this sim is just literally an influencer. Like, I don't know what they do. I don't even know if they know what they do. It's just companies reach out and say, hey, can you promote this product? And they're like, give me this amount of money. And then they just get it. And then that's it. Like, I feel like this friend is just the one that kind of just drifts through life. And he's trying to figure things out. Doesn't really know what is the next step. But they're just like, you know, just living life and enjoying things. So I kind of wanted this room to be a little bit more gray, a little bit more neutral. Because I don't really know like much about this sim. I feel like this sim is just kind of here for a good time. So I'd use the bed from the diesel pack. And I ended up using the dresser from I think it's like store content I put up a little lamp and then I also used that painting from the base game I also recolored the rug in here and then I ended up putting a plant and a chair from the late night pack oh and like a little stereo too just to kind of have something in here but that's pretty much everything for this bedroom and then moving on to the next bedroom this bedroom is going to be for a youtuber so I feel like this youtuber is probably a streamer also so they, they may stream on twitch maybe kick I don't know but they are literally just all about like making videos, streaming, hanging out with their chat. I feel like they probably do like a lot of IRL content. So they go around the town of Rosewood Park with a camera for content. You know, they'll film people on the streets. They'll ask people questions. They're like those kind of content creators, you know, <laughs> they're just kind of out and about. I feel like they sometimes stream video games on like twitch or like the sim equivalent of twitch but they don't really do it all too often you know they just kind of do it every once in a while so i wanted this room to kind of be like more blue blue is my favorite color so i kind of wanted this one to kind of like play into blue maybe this would be my dream room maybe i don't know <laughs> but i gave this sim a really nice lamp i also gave them a desk i think i use the desk from the high-end loft stuff and i also use the matching computer i feel like that computer looks the most like a gaming pc to me and i also ended up using the matching chair to go with it and i ended up using like the mid-century dresser in here as well i like using that one because it's not super big it kind of fills in a good amount of space so i used that one i also put a mirror beside the bed i put a couple of like pictures up in here i wanted to use like a lava lamp so i used like a little small one and then i also gave this sim a nice rug but i really love the way that this bedroom turned out this one is probably my favorite bedroom i just like the vibes like the baby blue looks really cute in my opinion and then the last room that i furnished was the bathroom so for the bathroom i used the shower tub combo from the base game I used the same toilet as the one down below and I used the matching counters from downstairs in the bathroom but that's pretty much it for this whole entire build so if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below I'm gonna leave a link to this build if you want to download it and put it in your own game and also please be sure to stick around for the screenshots because the screenshots will show you how the build will look when you go to download it but anyway y'all that is all that I have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below and I'll see you in the next one bye thanks for watching Thank you.